a couple more things about box technologies because you know, they do some interesting things that are, are kind of like out of the norm uh, from a workstation supply. And we've been talking about workstations, and so there's, you know, that's a workstation. But then they have this other cool stuff that Mark's hiding nicely. Move that way, boys. Okay. Is that they've got these things called render pros. And these are cute little shoe boxes which actually allow you to build your own little unique cluster or your own little unique rendering form. Okay. An interesting way to go build it. You notice it can sit right next to a workstation and it does some awesome things on this one. Now, these are using our older processors right now, but uh, uh, Shoeb, I think you're on track to update these to the new Xeon E5 when it's available. Right? Yes. So now, speaking of software and the guy I was just kicking out of the way, are you ready yet? I am ready about one. Okay. I'll introduce him to Mark Shonago. He's uh, an evangelist and one of the best um, next to me. Yes, <laughs> I've learned all this from him. <laughs> And uh, so Mark, Mark works for us, uh, Autodesk Soft Dimash. And I'm not going to steal your thunder because it's I want you to talk about it. All right. Why they? Oh, wow. Thank you. I'll keep clicking on that. I like that. So, uh, yeah, so you know, Wes, Wes asked me to come out here to NAB and, and show off some stuff and show off these new uh, amazing 8 core, 8 core on a socket workstation. So, Soft is fully multi threaded, so I thought, what better way to do that than to blow up the Intel logo? So, oh no, don't blow me up. Well, that's kind of what happened. So, I, I, I made this cool animation where the Intel logo is made of about a couple million particles, explodes, and does all this nifty stuff. And then I thought, well, maybe they don't want to see their logo quite smash and do some stuff. So, with 2012 of the new Soft Dimage version, uh, we came up with the ability to do crowd simulation. So, while that whole thing was rendering, this was all simulating in the background as well. So this is 10,000 individual characters using the new Softimage Crowd Effects technology, uh, and they're basically going to run and form the Intel logo. Uh, it takes 1,000 frames for that to happen, thought I'd make something kind of long. What's amazing is this took uh, about a day to simulate on a little laptop I have down there, a nice quad-core laptop. Uh, on that machine over there, it took about an hour, which is the new E5, dual 8-core, 16-core threaded, so 32 total cores. It's the new box workstation. Uh, that thing's awesome. So that's what created that here. And I don't know if you could see that at the very end. Okay, so now I want to ask you. Look at that. Yeah, I want to ask you a question now. Yeah, um, lay it on me. What What do solid state drives do for you and, and, do, and you know, oh, other man. people that use this kind of a product? All right, so we're doing a benchmark here of older technology versus newer technology. This is last year's workstation, so this does not have an SSD in it. When I scrub the timeline, this is a cached file. You can see it's going to take a while for it to update. That cache file is loading off of a standard hard drive, so you're getting your standard, you know, 80 megabytes a second to load that up. These cache files are about three, four hundred megabytes each, so you can imagine how much faster it's going to be if you can load stuff up at 500 megabytes a second. Uh, I'll be doing a demo in the main theater here in a little while, where I'm going to actually compare scrubbing between an SSD and a non-SSD, and it's amazing. So, you know, we're able to generate all this data now, all this crazy bandwidth. We got 16 cores in a workstation, 32 gigs of RAM, and then you got this really slow hard drive. Nothing's loading up. So, content creators, I mean, we're not dealing with word processing. Files. We're dealing with massive chunks of data. We're making feature films, crazy special effects. You want to be able to load that data up. Uh, finally, something like SSDs are here. So it's amazing to go from you know 50, 80, 100 megabytes a second all the way up to 500 megabytes a second, really almost overnight. So they kind of threw the whole Moore's Law thing out the window with hard drives.